Welcome back to Black Pearls, Distinguished Women of Color. Today we're embarking on an extraordinary journey, transcending the confines of Earth, reaching out to the infinity of space to illuminate the life of an incredible woman who dared to dream beyond the stars. We present Dr. Mae Jemison, a woman of many facets, astronaut, physician, and engineer. Born on October 17, 1956 in Decatur, Alabama, but raised in Chicago, May Carol Jemison was always fascinated by the vastness of the cosmos. She loved watching Star Trek and was inspired by the character of Lieutenant Uhura, played by Nichelle Nichols. Her dreams were bigger than the societal expectations of her time. From early on, she knew her destiny was intertwined with the stars. Jemison was a brilliant student who excelled in math and science. She graduated from high school at the age of 16 and entered Stanford University on a scholarship. In the pursuit of knowledge, Jemison soared high and fast. She graduated from Stanford University at just 20, holding degrees in chemical engineering and African and Afro-American studies. Her thirst for learning took her to Cornell University, where she acquired her MD in 1981. Jemison worked as a general practitioner in Los Angeles for a while before joining the Peace Corps as a medical officer in West Africa. She served in Liberia and Sierra Leone from 1983 to 1985, where she also conducted research on hepatitis B, rabies, and schistosomiasis. In 1985, Jemison decided to pursue her childhood dream of becoming an astronaut. She applied to NASA and was accepted into the astronaut training program in 1987, the first African-American woman to reach this milestone. In the vast expanse of the cosmos, she was a symbol of resilience and limitless possibilities. She trained for two years as a mission specialist, learning various skills such as spacewalks, robotics, and shuttle operations. On September 12, 1992, Jemison made history when she flew into space aboard the Space Shuttle Endeavour on mission STS-47. She was part of a seven-member crew that included another woman, Japanese astronaut Mamoru Mori. The mission was a joint venture between NASA and the Japanese space agency JAXA, and it carried a laboratory module called Space Lab J that conducted experiments on materials processing and life sciences. Jemison's role was to conduct experiments on bone cell research, weightlessness, and motion sickness. She also carried with her several personal items that represented her heritage and interests, such as an African art poster, a Bundu statue from Sierra Leone, an Alpha Kappa Alpha sorority banner, and a photo of Bessie Coleman, the first African-American woman pilot. Jemison spent more than a week in orbit, logging over 190 hours in space. She returned to Earth on September 20, 1992, having fulfilled her lifelong dream and inspired millions of people around the world. Jemison left NASA in 1993 and founded her own company called the Jemison Group, which focuses on applying technology to social issues. She also created a non-profit organization called the Dorothy Jemison Foundation for Excellence, which promotes science education and literacy among students. She is currently the principal of the 100-Year Starship Project, which aims to make interstellar travel possible within the next century. Jemison has received numerous awards and honors for her achievements, including induction into the National Women's Hall of Fame and the International Space Hall of Fame. She has also written several books for children and adults, such as Find Where the Wind Goes, Moments from My Life, 2001, and Journey Through Our Solar System, 2013. From the heart of Chicago to the vast expanse of space, May Jemison's journey is a testament to the power of dreams and perseverance. She inspires every young girl, especially those of color, to believe in the power of their dreams. As she once said, don't let anyone rob you of your imagination, your creativity, or your curiosity. It's your place in the world. It's your life. Dr. May Jemison, a shining black pearl, an extraordinary woman of color, lights the way for future generations proving that the sky is not the limit, but just the beginning. Thank you for joining us today on this celestial journey. Don't forget to subscribe to Black Pearls, Distinguished Women of Color, for more stories of amazing women who are reaching for the stars and beyond. Until next time, keep dreaming, keep reaching.